How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, in this video I'm gonna be having a product battle. It's two Pokemon 151 Elite Trainer Boxes going up against three Pokemon 151 Booster Bundles. We have 18 packs on each side, so totaling 36 packs, just as much as a booster box. But without further ado, let me just get the packs out. Um, let me do that first for the booster bundles. Just cut these open right here. And we see which side will give us the the best pulls. Okay, first booster bundle pile. Cut. Second pile. Third pile. ETB cut. First ETB pile. Cut. And second ETB pile. Okay. Okay, so we have two neat piles on each side. Of course, for the ETB, you get two pro or one promo each. We have two Snorlaxes here, and we also have these these code cards. Here is the first one, and here is the second one. Enjoy it, whoever gets that one, and let's just start right away. Let's open it like by each side, one by one, and see which gives us the better pulls. What I'll probably do, I'll probably do some some jump cuts just to get the the opening started right away first of all here is the code card for this one and then we'll see caterpie we've got an ev grimer there are still so many cards that i need from from pokemon 151 mostly just the um the three evolutions or the three um what should we call it? the three starter evolutions like charizard blastoise and venusaur and then of course there's so many others there's Giovanni, there is, um, there's Erika, there's Alakazam, Zapdos. Like, as I've said in, in my other openings of this set, it doesn't really matter what you pull, what SIR. If you get one SIR, you're, you're gonna be pretty happy. Because all of them are bangers. There is not a single bad SIR in here, special illustration rare. So let's see if we can get at least one, hopefully. That's a wheezing. Oh, we've got a full art here. Okay. Full art Venusaur EX. Nice. That's our first pull. And that is from a booster bundle. So let's put that over in this pile right here. I have to remember to keep track of, of these ones. So let's see. ETB. ETB. So far from the booster bundles and, and ETBs that I have opened, I haven't really had great luck to be honest. Because I, I really didn't open, well, I didn't open that many, but I, the, the things that I did open, I didn't really pull anything, anything great. Hopefully we can correct that with this opening. We have so many packs, there's bound to be, bound to be something good in here. We have a nine tails on the, on the side of the ETBs. Very good. Very good. So yeah, this is kind of, kind of trying to, to see which product will offer you the best pulls i have a i have a prediction that it's gonna be the booster bundles but you know what i might be wrong let's just take get rid of the energy as well you know i might be i might be wrong but we'll see this is this is the the video to find out which product you should be buying although from what i from what i could tell the prices for these are going up for some reason i guess just everyone is just hyped about this set and everybody wants to open it. So I guess I guess that's why the prices are going up. I've noticed it especially about the booster bundles. The boost booster bundles are still pretty cheap, like a bit a bit above um, MSRP. Alright, here we go. There's the energy. Let's get rid of that one. So that way we have more space to display potential pulls here. Let's see, Tangela, Grimer. We have an Ivysaur. Machoke, we have a Dugong, Omastar, a Redactyl, and a Mewtwo. Oh, that is a that is a sick looking Mewtwo. I think it's illustrated by Akira Igawa. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's a sick looking Mewtwo. That's really nice. Okay, let's keep going with the opening. So far, we've had two pulls so far. Still no special illustration rare, but my, you know, the hope dies last. You know, it's all right. We'll get rid of the energy as well. Steel type energy or metal energy. And let's see what we can get here. We have Grimer again. Psyduck, Ekans, 
We have a Seedra, Kabuto, Gloom. We might also... Oh, we've got a Pikachu! This is really good! I actually pulled this in Japanese from my um, Pokemon 151 opening. So this is actually really sick. That is a really good one. Okay. Pretty sure that came from, from this side. Pretty sure that came from the ETB side. Um, I have to keep track of him. But let's go. Or from the booster bundle side, excuse me. Excuse me. Here's the code card. Alright, let's get rid of the energy as well. And let's just go through these as quick as we can. Magikarp. We have an Oddish. So we might also be able, if we're lucky, to get a Demigod pack. Um, not in this one, though. Not in this one. There's just a Gyarados in this one. Just a Gyarados. So far, the the booster bundles are in the lead. Not because we have two pulls on that side. Also because we have a full art, and here we just have a normal EX. So there are in lead the booster bundles. We'll see if if the ETBs can still pull it back. Execute, Clefairy, Machop. We have a Porygon, we have a Dugong, Hitmonchan, Sea King, Muck, we have an Ivy Soar, and we have a Beedrill. Okay. Nose goes for that one. Okay, I just gave them a quick count. We have 14 packs on each side, so let's continue on. We'll just go left to right. This is an ETB one. It's getting kind of confusing because they are, of course, the same packs. So usually with a pack battle, I'll be immediately able to tell which side is which. Not for this one, though, since they're both the same pack. So this is an ETB one. Let's see. Hopefully we can get at least a full art here. You know, that's a Kadabra, nice. We have a Pidgeot. We have a Seal. Nope, just a Starmie. That seems to be about the average experience with, with ETB packs. The booster bundles so far, and I'm pretty sure by the end of this video, are not only going to take the lead, they're gonna be they're gonna win. The booster bundles are probably the better thing to buy. Although there are there are different products, of course. There is the ultra premium collection, there's the poster collection, the binder collection, um, any of these. From what I've heard though, the poster collection might actually be the way to go. But to be honest, paying 25 for three packs and some posters that seems a bit much to f for me so i'd much rather buy like a booster bundle for a similar price just a little bit more and get like three packs extra but maybe that's just me well i guess the reason why you would buy the the poster collection is not just the packs are kind of secondary you really just want the posters in there that's why you're buying them there you go code card let's see what kind of energy Oh, a holographic energy. We'll put that right here. Okay. Okay, sorry about that weird cut. Just had to check something real quick. But we're back. We're back. We have a holographic energy. This is the first one we've pulled. So that's a that's a win for the ETB side, at least. Let's see. Wartortle, Clefairy, Rapidash, and the Dragonite. That's a cool-looking Dragonite. I really like that one. Sanusuka Sakuma, I think. I think that's the same artist that illustrated the Friends and Gala card. I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm mistaken. Who knows? Okay, so the first the first um, holographic energy we pull on the ETB side. Still no special illustration rare, man. The pull rates on those seem to be pretty low. Eh? Right, let's get rid of the energy as well. So this is a booster bundle. Let's see. I'm really hoping we can get at least, well, at least one SIR. I'm also hoping for at least one God Pack, because that would be insane. Not in this one, though. And, nope, just another Mewtwo. A cool-looking Mewtwo, illustrated by my favorite artist, actually. I was I was going to say my one of my favorites, but no, I think... I think that's actually my favorite artist, full stop. Illustrations are just so, so good. So good. Okay. Might have to clean up my table here in a second. We'll open this one. Here is the code card. And, whoa, another holographic energy on the ETB side. We'll take that into consideration. I'm pretty sure these aren't worth that much, but they're still nice looking. 
And I think we should count them towards the towards the pulls. Because they are not promised in every single pack. So might as well. We have a Vulpix by Kavayo. Hitmonchan, Sea King. We've got a Butterfree. We've got a Farfetch'd. We've got an Alakazam! Holy moly, we finally have a special illustration rare. The first one we've pulled. And we pull it from an ETB. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's just look at this close up. Yo, this is a really cool one. As I said, every single special illustration where you get in this is gonna be a banger. And this is no different. Jesus, okay. Well, that definitely puts the, the ETB in the lead. Actually, let me change this around. Okay, well, there we go. Um, I'm pretty sure the ETB is now in the lead. Um, we'll see if we can pull an, a special illustration rare out of the booster bundle packs. Okay, that is that is really nice. Um, I have to, to clean up my table after this one, so hang on, let me just open this one real quick. No holographic energy. Still no holographic energy. Alright, we've got a Krabby. We've got a Sand Shrew. A Seal just chilling. A Doe Duo. We've got a Golbat, kind of scary looking. Leftovers, very nice. We've got a Persian. We've got... I think we have something here. I think we have a Gold card or something. You see that? You see that shine? I think that's a Gold card. Is that Psychic Energy? No, it's the Gold Mew! Oh my god, we have a Gold Mew! Oh, brother! Pulling a Mew is always nice! Holy moly! Okay, and an Alakazam at the back there, a double pull! That also gave us a Golden Mew! Man, oh man, this this was even better than that pack, because it is a Mew card, you know how much I love Mew! Okay, Jesus! Jesus, way to steal the thunder from the ETBs! Holy moly, the booster bundles are going ahead. Okay, hang on, let me clean up my table. Okay, well, this is where we are right now. We still have so many packs left to cover, so let's just get a move on. Okay, so this time around we definitely pulled some some great stuff, unlike my the other openings where I did open um, ETBs and booster bundles. Maybe it's just the sheer amount of booster packs we have. We were bound to get something here, right? Is that a Voltor by Kavayo as well? No, that's by someone else. I thought it looked it looked a little bit similar to, to their art style, but no. Machoke, we got a ride on. We've got a Butterfree, Volt Orb, and a Nido King holographic. Well it has to end at some point, right? But we mustn't let that deteriorate us. We still go we're still going for the packs. I'm still I'm still missing the, the starters. I still want those. Either one. Oh, here we go. This is the the first holographic energy for the for the booster bundle side. So let me put this like I guess over here, over the Alakazam, and then we we see what we have in here. Star you. We got a Charmander, very cute. Spiro in a tree. We've got a Bell Sprout energy stickers. Ride on. We got an Executor. Got a Horsey, a Meowth, and a Gyarados. Nope. Just a holographic energy in that pack. That is fine though. That is fine. Dude, imagine imagine if we pull. I've just been spouting about how how good the, the booster bundles are. Just imagine we pull a, a second special illustration rare out of out of the, the ETBs. That will completely defeat it. Well, there is I was gonna say there is personal preference for the for the pulls that we're gonna get. I'm gonna pick the winner with whichever pull pulls the most muse. No, I'm just kidding. It's all it's all fair and square. There's a Chameleon. Maybe there's a Charizard behind? No, but there's an Arbok behind. Okay. A double pull in this one as well. I I don't know if I pulled this one. I pulled a Japanese version of this. And I don't know if it was the Charmeleon or the Charmander. Either, either way, let's just put these right here. So that is a nice pull for this side. Hang on. Alright, let's move it on with the boost bundle. Still so many packs left. Man, I really wish they had just made a, a booster box of this set, but then again, it is a special set. 
and they usually never do never do booster boxes of special sets like shining fates is an example um well another holographic energy we'll put that right here but i'm i'm really glad that they made booster bundles i think going forward um for these special sets they're probably going to make booster bundles which is really really nice usually you just have to buy like an etb if you want the most packs oh a dragonair this looks really really nice i like that one and a Mewtwo once again. We'll put you right here, Dragonair. Very nice. See what the ETB has to offer. Maybe we can get maybe maybe we can also get a, a cheeky a cheeky golden Mew. Maybe we can pull two golden Mews. That is possible. It is possible. It all came from from different products. So te technically, we could also pull like two more Alakazams if we really if we really want to. Well, not really want. It's all about luck. The luck of the draw. Right. Nice little Eevee there. Lapras. Cycling Road. We have a Scyther. An Arcanine. An Ekans. And just a Flareon. Just a Flareon right there at the end. Okay. We've hit a little bit of a dry streak now. We've only pulled... We've only pulled um, some, some illustration rares. And some normal EX cards. So maybe we can get something textured in this one for the for the booster bundle side. It is kind of losing at the moment, I'm pretty sure. Because the, the Alakazam... I actually don't know how much the Alakazam is. I mean, I don't really care either way. It's going into my binder straight away. But here we go. Oh, Jinx! Okay. Well, that is a pull. That goes on this side right here. That goes on the booster bundle side. And let's see. I think mean, if we if we pull another special illustration rare on the on the ETB side, we just have a we just have a winner. It's just as easy as that. Because there's no way I'm gonna pull two two SARs on this side. We pulled one. So that's that's good enough, I suppose. Rattata. We've got a squirtle, very happy. Got a Venonat. Hypno. Polyrath, Pidgeot, Send Slash. We've got a Pikachu. Okay. We have a Pikachu on the ETB side as well. And a Mr. Mime at the end there. I won't say no to two Pikachus. Thank you very much. Won't say no to two Pikachus. Okay, we're nearing the end of the of the packs. I think we have six packs on each side, if I'm if I'm seeing that correctly. So far, no special illustration rare for the booster bundles. At least we have the Mew, which is an amazing pull, might I add. I love the gold Mew. This is a um, a metal card in the in the UPC. So pulling it normally right here, that is definitely very, very nice. I still don't know what I want to do with the metal card from the from the UPC. Um, Golem, okay. Another EX. Another normal EX. I don't know what I want to do with the metal card. Um, I think I'm pretty sure CGC should grade them. They did with the metal cards from the um, celebrations ultra premium collection, you know, the Charizard and the Pikachu. And I think they still grade them pretty sure. So maybe I want to send that into CGC. Oh, fire energy, another holographic energy. We'll put you right here, I guess. Just like a little bit off to the side. And then hang on, that's glaring. There we go. We have a seal. We have a Doduel, come on. Tentacool. We've got a Rattata. Executor. Bridget Band. Graveler. We've got a Goldeen. Clefable. And a Machamp. Okay. Okay. Right. As I've said, hit a little bit of a dry streak here. Maybe this will have a texture card in a full art, or maybe even a special illustration rare. Who knows? Oh, dude. This is what I should be saying. I should be saying this pack is gonna have a special illustration rare, and then when I make a shorts out of this, out of this segment, it'll look very cool, right? It will look like as if I'm clairvoyant and knew exactly that that card was there. Ah, that's what I should do. I'll, I'll do that for the next pack. Mankey, Meowth, Rigid Band again. I mean, we are bound to see to see repeats after so many packs, right? Dodrio, nope. Nope, nope, nope. 
Okay, I'll try. I just counted the packs again and we have six on each side left. So let's see if we can find something else in these last packs. Even though at least we've got we've got one SAR so far. I wouldn't say no to, to either Erika or Giovanni. Both of those look look really, really nice. And then of course the, the three starters. E either one of those three. Blastoise, Venusaur, or of course Charizard. Wouldn't say no to each of those as well, or one of those. I mean, I take each of those, sure, sure. I'll take each of those. Kadabra, we have a Parasect, a Mankey, and a Vaporeon. Very cute looking Vaporeon, just look at it. So cute, okay. But no for this one. Let's see. Dude, if we pull an SAR, I think. Yeah, the, the pulls on the ETB side are looking kind of poor, if I want to put it like that. I mean, the only thing saving it is really that Alakazam. So if we pull if we pull in a special illustration rare on the booster bundle side, then it's gonna be bad news bears for the ETB. So let's see if we can do that. Hitmonchan, we got a Sea King. We've got a Butterfree. I think we have something here. There we go, you see that? That's another gold card. What is it gonna be? It's a Switch? Okay, it's a gold item card. I... I think this is actually pretty good. In terms of playability. I don't know if I remember things correctly, but I think this is pretty good. It looks pretty nice, so let's go in, it's going on this pile. Two gold cards out of the booster bundle. Let's talk about luck, eh? Talk about luck? Let's see. Maybe we can pull a gold card out of the ETB as well. Maybe another Mew card. Oh, we still haven't pulled the the Mew EX, you know, the regular one. So if we pull that, that would also be very nice. Here is the code card. And the energy. And let's see, Squirtle. Lickitung, Venonat. The Pidgey Protective Goggles. Pentacruel Store You. Got a Golbat. And just a vile plume at the end there, normal holographic. Okay, we're nearing the end of this opening, but so far it has been really, really fun. It has been really, really fun. All right, let's open this one up if I can get the cards out. There we go. Here is the code card. And here is just a normal energy, not a holographic one. And let's see. Hopefully, hopefully we can get something in this one. Come on. Oh, yeah, right. I should I should be saying um, this is going to have a, a special illustration we're in. I see something shiny. That might just be the normal holographic, though. That It was the normal holographic. Okay, you mustn't be distracted by these shiny things. Unless it's textured at the bottom. Okay. Right. This pack is going to have a special illustration we're in. 100%. Okay, let's see if I'm correct in this. Here is the code card, of course. Good luck. And here is just a normal electric type energy. Okay, Machop, Porygon, Electabuzz, Coughing. We've got Bill. We've got Golbat. Leftovers. We've got a Bulbasaur. We've got a Stormy. Nope, just a B drill. Haven't we? J we just pulled a B drill. Okay, we've pulled a B drill on the booster bundle side, and now we've pulled it on the ETB side. Code card, energy. No. No holographic energy, but we'll make do. We will make do. All right, I should have set the, the special illustration rare on this one as well. Right. Right, Kingler, Snorlax, just chilling, Electrode, Psyduck, and a Daisy's help. Okay, a full art trainer on this side at least. Very, very nice. We'll put you right here as well. Very nice. At least one more pull on this side. Okay, let's see what else the ETB has to offer. Maybe we can also pull a full art, full art trainer. We could pull Bill, or of course the other two I've been going on about. There's also the normal versions of of Giovanni and Erica. I really like the Giovanni actually. The Giovanni looks looks really really nice. Yeah, Giovanni's charisma. Maybe some foreshadowing here. We got an Abra. We got a Slowbro. Nope, we just got a Raichu. Really cute looking Raichu. But just a holographic Raichu nonetheless. Okay, nearing the end here. The few last packs. Maybe we can get some bangers on these on these last ones right here. Holographic energy? Nope. No holographic energy. 
Jigglypuff, also looking very, very cute. Got a Staryu, got a Charmander, got a Spearow, we've got a Bill. There's Bill, Golbat, Leftovers, Magikarp, Rapidash, and a Vaporeon once again. Well, as I said, we are bound to see repeats now, since we've opened that many. We have two packs left on each side now. Let's see if, if either one of these can give us something great to end this video off with a banger. That'd be something. That'd be something. Oh, holographic energy. At least that's something. We'll put you right here. That's four holographic energies on the on the ETB side. I guess I can put them up here. Tangela. Got a Grimer. Psyduck. Ekans. A Persian. Got a Muck. We've got Daisy, the normal version of Daisy. Got a Zubat. We've got a Giovanni. And we've got a Ditto. Okay. Okay, come on, Booster Bundle. Can you give us a banger? Can you give us a banger to finish off this video with? Um, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure the ETB is still gonna win. Just because of that Alakazam... Although, I don't know. See, I don't know. I don't know how much the, the Mew is. Well, first of all, because I don't care, but we have so many more pulls on this side. It just feels like this is gonna be close. This is gonna be close. We'll see. Maybe these last two packs could actually decide it in either way. If either side pulls another special illustration rare, that would decide it. Nidorina, Raticate, got Muck, got Volt Orb, and we've got a Vile Plume. No for this one. Okay, two packs left from this big opening. Let's see. Come on. Come on, Elite Trainer Box. Elite trainer box. Give us some give us some luck here. Another holographic? Nope. Just a normal fire type energy. Now let's see. Ghastly. We've got a Paris. Volt Orb. Krabby. Cloister. Grabber. We've got a Kingler. We've got Daisy's help. We've got a Q Bone. And we've got a holographic Dragonite. Okay. So nothing in the last pack of the ETB. But there is still hope. There's still hope for the booster bundle. Okay, this last pack, this last pack is gonna have a special illustration here and just watch. Just you watch. It's gonna be insane. Here's the code card. Here is the holographic energy. Very nice. And let's see if we can get something. Rhyhorn. Magikarp. Oddish. Mankey. Persian. We've got a Muck, we've got another Daisy, we've got a Machop, we've got a Sand Slash, and we have an Arbok, okay, we did get something in the end there, let me put this right here, okay, well let me just sort through these cards and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what we ended up with on each side, we have four holographic energies on the ETB side, we have two normal EX cards, Two illustration rares and then one special illustration rare with the Alakazam. This might actually this might actually win the ETB the, the battle, I don't know. But if you look at the side of the booster bundles, we have way more pulls. Not a special illustration rare, but let's just start from the bottom. We have three holographic energies. We have four. Four normal EX pulls. We also have two illustration rares. And we have four, like, texture pulls, if you will. Two golden cards, one of which being a Mew, which is very, very nice. And then, of course, a Venusaur EX full art. And a, a Daisy's Help full art. So, I don't know. I think this could go either way. We have way more pulls on this side. I think it just depends mainly on how much the, the Alakazam is. I'm gonna put in a guess, though. I think the booster bundle will win. Um, it's... It's mainly about the value of the of the pulls in this video, but just look at the amount of them. You get way more pulls in the booster bundle. So even if this wins in terms of value, just imagine if we hadn't pulled that one. You have way more pulls on this side. So I think I think the booster bundle is a way safer buy than than the ETBs. Well, but anyways, the values will be at the bottom displayed right here. And well, I said this side would win, or that is a surprising victory. You know, I have to cover both fronts here. But anyways, I guess that does it for this video. 
Um, I have a few videos coming up, of course, with um, nice Japanese openings. So stay tuned for that. And other than that, I hope I will see you in the next video. Check out this one that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Click this button to subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.